I spent the last three months learning game development with basically no experience and here's my entire progress in five minutes. So many of you already know I love Apex's combat more than anything in the world. No other FPS game even comes close and I think this is something only players who have been on Apex for a while really understand. But Apex has a lot of problems that quite frankly I'm sick of. So I started trying other FPS games with no real solution to my problem of wanting Apex on combat but without the BS that comes with a AAA company. I decided the only option left was to make my own game. At this point I decided the play was to go on Fiverr to pay someone to make the game and yeah I, I, I don't know why I thought this was a good idea but you know I definitely thought I was gonna get more for the $150 that I spent. So I downloaded Unreal Engine, then I opened it, then quickly closed it since I couldn't even figure out how to move the screen around. But after watching this 5 hour long video explaining how to navigate the software and even making my first little mini game and map, I felt confident that doing this was a possibility. So the first thing I decided to tackle and something I saw as the most important of all to make the game was the movement. Luckily I came across some videos showing how to make Titanfall like movement in Unreal which was perfect. I didn't understand what the hell he was talking about or what any of these blue thingies actually did but that's fine because all I had to do was copy, paste, and win, baby. Only problem was that it was more like copy, paste, and cry. Turns out, if you miss even a single check mark, everything literally will just fall apart. And this is how I learned about debugging and why it takes game devs so goddamn long to fix glitches. So I decided to scrap it all and start fresh using what I've learned so far, which of course was basically nothing. Eventually though, after hours of ignoring responsibilities and watching 50 bazillion YouTube tutorials, I finally came up with this. Air strafing, wall bouncing, wall running, jump sliding, basically all the movement systems of Apex in its most ghetto form. I had finally made it then I realized that replication was a thing if you want to even think about doing multiplayer and also there were about a thousand more glitches so I started over. I'm starting to hate this. So I decided to change it up and start with some of the 3D models. I downloaded Blender, opened up, excited and ready, couldn't figure out how to move the screen, then closed it. Cried a little in bed, then got back up and watched another 5 hour tutorial series on how to figure out and how to navigate Blender and also making a donut in the process. Now I've always been a fan of both sides sci-fi and fantasy so I decided to make a baby with the two. So me and Trixie came up with some ideas and even fleshed out a world for the game to take place in. Also a few races for you to choose from and I didn't know what the hell they looked like though I knew I wanted it to be fantasy like without being too lord of the nerdsy. I'm good. So after finding some references, doing some drawing, I finally went to make my first real model. I was pretty proud of myself on this one, but it was a bit too fantasy-like, so I scrapped it. Decided to go with something more simple and sort of elf-like, and I couldn't quite figure out how to make the skin now. I spent hours watching tutorials on texturing, rage quit, laid to bed, and cried, then came back to make this pasty boy. Then I realized maybe I should focus on graphics later and just use placeholders because this shit is taking forever. I haven't even gotten to the rigging and animating yet, and it's already been a couple of of weeks of trying to figure out Blender and how to make my own characters and I, I kind of just want to get an actual game going. So I moved on to make the basics of the game again. This time I started with adding a gun, which turns out needs a lot more animations than you think. I needed animation sets for both the arms and the character body, which by the way, yes, in FPS games there is actually multiple bodies for one player and a set of arms to achieve the final product that we actually see in game. This is where I came across Mixamo, a website that gives you a ton of free animations, so I cut really lucky here. Once I added some ghetto sounds and a free model of an AK-74U that I found, we were good to go. Honestly, the gun was surprisingly easy once I figured out that I needed to actually physically bring the gun up to the camera rather than trying to make some weird double camera instant ADS with no gradual transition monstrosity. Now it was time for our most favorite thing in the world, movement. But this time I had a better idea of what to do. I made most of the basic movement systems, though I changed some things up to make it a little bit more unique this time. First of all, you can wall bounce, wall run, jump into slides, and bunny hop just like Apex, which by the way, making bunny hopping alone almost made me want to return my birth certificate, but the differences here are that you can also chain wall bounces, and I added a mechanic I'm calling glides, in which you have three charges and likely will be something you can change using the talent system once I figure out that mess. But the glides are short dashes for you to use for dodging, however they can only be done while in the air, meaning you have to jump then press a keybind to actually activate it. This also allows you to achieve some 
interesting advanced movement similar to things like the raw strafe. The inputs are even similar, but it's much easier to do with this system. And you can also instead do a burst glide where you consume all three charges to go further and faster. I slapped on aerosol can spray sound effect on there and called it a day. Well, at least for now. My goal with this mechanic was to make movement accessible, but also make it something that's fun and unique. That's kind of the goal I'm going for here. By the way, I'm curious to hear what you guys think of this glide mechanic. So let me know in the comments below. And also, if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe if you do. I love you forever. All right, now with most of the movement system done, besides some tweaking of the numbers here and there, I added some UI elements to make the game seem more like an actual game, such as an armor bar. And yes, there will be an armor system similar to Apex, but closer to Warzone to make it feel a little bit more fluid. I added a health bar that regens, so no annoying syringes, and of course, a counter for our little glide mechanic thingy. Now, at this point, I'm going to start working on AI and actual game mode itself, but I want to point out, my goal is to make a movement arena first person shooter, but the mode is not going to be simply TDM. I plan to do something vastly different than the same old modes we've been seeing for the past couple of decades. However, I really want the FPS game to be better, so it won't be my first completed project. I'm actually going to use these systems to make a sort of horde based four player co-op game, and this way I can really get my feet wet before going balls deep for, dare I say, our dream arena shooter? With that said, I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts and ideas, maybe some things that you'd love to see in our game, or some of your favorite mechanics in other FPS titles. Leave it in a comment below. Okay, love you, bye.